Hello everybody, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Today we're going to go through adding a Twitter feed to your WordPress website. Uh, it's going to be a really short video hopefully and uh, we're going to use a plugin to do it so it should all be nice and straightforward, no coding or anything required. So let's get started. The plugin we're going to use today is called um, Twitter Widget Pro. Uh, it's a free plugin available from WordPress.org. Um, here it is here. So obviously the quickest way to install it, um, if you don't know how to install a plugin, have a look and you'll uh, through my channel and you'll find another video on how to install a plugin. Um, but what I've done here, I've logged into our test site, uh, which I've been using to create all these videos, um, and I'm logged into the back end. So to add a plugin, just to recap, we go to plugins, add new, I'm going to type in the name of the plugin and say it's Twitter Widget Pro. There it is, click install, click OK. And there we're done. So that's the first step. You need to install that plugin. Uh, and once you're done, it's going to ask you to set up your Twitter app keys um, and to authorize your Twitter accounts. Um, this is basically to do with the new Twitter API and the way that they do stuff now. You have to set up some keys. So if you just click on that link, it will help you do that. So we need to get some info for these boxes. Now to do that, you need to log into Twitter. So there's a link here to take you to the right place. So add a new Twitter application. And then you need to sign in with a Twitter account. I've got one here. Um, I will blur it out though, because it's a real account. But basically, yeah, just add your um, Twitter details. Uh, and then you need to fill in this form. Now, the application name uh, can be anything. I mean, obviously, just use you know your website. So uh, let's call it WP Eagle Test Website. Give it a description again, give it the same thing. Um, and then you need to enter the website that you're going to use. So for us, it is. And then a callback URL. Normally, I just copy and paste the same thing in. But um, some widgets may want that. But for what we're doing, just put that back in the same as the website address. You need to agree to these terms. And enter this capture thing. Which are really annoying. Oh, did I get it right? No, let's try again. How annoying are these things? What is that? Is that an I? I don't know. Let's let's get another one. So it's going to take you a few minutes to uh, get through the capture. Let's see. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, so once you're through, you start to get some of these uh, things, which we can start to copy and paste. So consumer key. Let's grab that copy that. I need to go back to our WordPress. Oh, it's moved me off the page I was on. So I'm going to go back into the dashboard and you'll find it in settings, Twitter widget. Okay, so consumer key, I'm going to paste that in. I'm just using uh, shortcuts, but you could obviously right click and, and go paste. Next is the secret. So we go back to Twitter here. Consumer secret is this thing here. Again, I'll have blurred these out for security, but you get the idea. And I think that's it. So then we click update options. Okay, now we need to authorize the new account. So I'm going to click authorize again. I need to log into Twitter again. Okay, and then your username and everything will pop up here. And then I think we're ready to go. So to add a Twitter feed, it may be in a widget, um, which is probably the most likely, you need to come into your widget area, which is obviously under appearance, and then you need to find the Twitter widget pro, which is here. And then we'll just drag that on. I'll put it as the first widget so we can find it. Select your username, if you can select a list, you can give it a title, let's just call it Twitter. Um, and then you've got some things here. You can display your profile image, how many tweets you want to show. Let's show five. You can hide replies. You can include retweets. There's quite a few different options, but that'll do for now. We'll click save. That's done. And then we'll visit the website. And here's our tweets. Now, they may need a bit of styling. Um, 
which I will go to, through in another video. Um, but some themes will support it and, and you're ready to go. So I hope that was useful. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll see you soon. See you later.